Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I today again I had somebody ask me about the nudge distance, and they were they're just totally confused. I helped him make a, a drawing the other day, and he's thinking, well, he changes this to, you know, with nothing selected, you change it to five inches, and it doesn't nudge. The line did not do anything. Well, because you didn't nudge it. You just set your nudge factor. So with nothing selected, you set this on five inches or whatever. He's actually working a millimeter is the one I'm doing this for. I'm going to just hit my right arrow key. These are your nudge keys. Right, left, down, up. So if we take that, and that's what I'll, and some people have asked me a lot of videos, how did I get that to go right back? Well, it's nudging the same distance every time. I can nudge down, over, and back up. But I realize that every keyboard might not have these keys. Well, right here on my keyboard, it says number lock. This says block number. Same thing. These are your arrow keys, eight, six, two, and four. So I'm gonna, I've got mine unlocked. I'm going to use the six key and then use the four key to put it back. I don't think the nine will do anything because it's going to open, even though it shows it's an arrow, uh, like seven. Seven isn't going to do anything. It's, it's the home key on my board. So these are your nudge keys. Just because you set this, so with nothing selected, let's set it on 10. And, and that's where, well, see, I got my number unlocked or locked. I set it on 10, it doesn't move. It doesn't move till I hit my right arrow key. But just keep in mind, you can't set this unless you have nothing selected. If you have this selected, the nudge key goes away. If you have a rectangle selected, the nudge keys go away. With nothing selected, the nudge distance can be set. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.